knowledge of discovery and awareness of the richness, the diversity, and the often surprising nature of living with the land. Our journey begins as dramatic and sudden changes are sweeping over the land. The approaching storm may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. I love how on the fishing line they make it look like water from the rain. Just by using light. Beneath the surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. One of those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich and productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicines, and other elements essential to our lives. What's for dessert? It's pretty hot there. Yeah. I just want ice nice cream for though. desert. I'm from the desert. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. In the farmlands across America, we're learning that by plowing under vegetation containing natural and 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 the in arid regions, we're learning to produce food on desert seacoasts. How will we meet tomorrow's growing needs for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time of the year. For some, it's difficult to imagine the holidays without winter and snow, uh -huh. but one of the most important holiday crops actually grows in the tropics. 
For centuries, farmers in Central America have cultivated cacao to make chocolate. In fact, cacao is chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa, thanks to this tropical plant. They say it's better to give than it's to receive. Really hot and in this greenhouse, really we're celebrating the holidays by giving back to the land using the size of the Holy cow. They are. I'm used to seeing like rats and nurseries. By giving plants lady plants, we're able to control pests and reduce the need for pesticides. Eggplant. And by growing ground plants vertically, we give them better protection from disease. With these gifts, our plants can grow an abundance of festive vegetables. This greenhouse alone grows a bountiful 15 tons of produce each year. When we give them, we receive them, making the most of the land's green gifts. Strawberries. Cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer, Epcot scientists are able to celebrate the holidays with the land's many gifts.
These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratories. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the Behind the Seeds walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratories. What are you trying to get to? Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop.